Hey yo, what's going on everyone? I am Hayden with State 48 Turtle and Tortoise. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to today's video. Um, as you guys can tell and clearly hear, we've got new animals. And as you guys saw in the thumb, thumbnail for sure, live poultry. We have got some baby chickens, but I'm not gonna spoil it yet. And we have more turtles. Guys, I'm addicted. I've got more turtles. Um, and we got chickens. So we got to get these guys set up real quick. Baby turtles are doing great. I'm gonna go grab some stuff out of my truck. I'll be All back. righty guys, we are back. I've got a temporary setup just for literally the like next day or two um, to get these chicks all started up. I'm gonna throw a little bit of food in here. I know they're not gonna have a lot of room to walk around. I can already hear you people typing away in the comments, but I'm getting a stock tank. I'm gonna borrow it from my neighbor. Um, this is literally just to get them by till tomorrow. But, without, well even later today possibly too. Without further ado, look at the little chicks. We got 20 chicks in here. I'm not gonna pretend I know what they are. I know I got some buff warping tins. I got, I got, I don't even know. Wind out something, another. I don't even know, honestly. What is this guy doing? Oh my gosh, these things are so cute. I hope there's no one under me. Okay, we're good. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, nine. Come here. 10. Oh, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, oh my gosh, there's so many, 16, where are you? 17, 18, 19, and 20. There we go, we got all 20 of them out of there. Um, I'll probably pull the water out tonight, the water in the food, or pull the food out or something and just throw a heat lamp in here. It's pretty warm out here in the shed right now. Man, these guys are so loud. Like I said, this is a temporary setup, maybe even just till later tonight, if not tomorrow. I'm gonna throw them in a stock tank and get that set up. Probably in here, just cause, um, at least until it gets real stinky, but uh, until I can figure anything else out. So, kind of a temporary setup. We're gonna go ahead and open up the box with the turtles. I'll see you then. All right, I got the turtles out of the bags. Or not out of the bags, I got them out of the box. Um. What are you gonna say? Well, Hayden, why do you need more turtles? I mean, you've already got 10 in this pond, right? The turtle's just chilling, soaking up some rays. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull these guys out of the bag for you. The bag. I don't know if this is a good view or not, but let me go ahead and uh, set that. Oh, let's put this up here. Better vantage point. Make sure you guys can see me. All right. Okay, as long as I do it all over here, you're going to be able to see me. So let's try to knock it bit by the turtles because that's no fun guys all right got my trusty dusty keys to break the small zip ties Ooh, come on there we go make sure that doesn't fall in the pond turtle one you guys might be saying to yourselves well hey now you need more turtles these here are albino red eared sliders he's going through shed right now um, he's got a little bit of a nip tail. Shouldn't affect the breeding or anything. Claws look great. He's definitely ready to go. This is a male. You can tell by those super long claws. I don't know if it's focusing or not. Super duper long claws, that's a male. And normally I'd say a long tail, but the cloaca closer to the end of the tail. So that's one. Don't want him to swim off yet. We're gonna put him back in the bag for a second. We're gonna open up the other one real fast. 
But guys, while I'm opening these, let me tell you about them. These two are both albino red eared sliders. And you might say, Sample Hayden, albino red eared sliders, um, they're cool and all. You already have a whole bunch, which I'm going to tell you guys are 100% right. I've already got a whole bunch of albinos. These guys are different. You might say, Well, Hayden, your albino pond is over there, and this is your um, creamsicle production pond. Well, hopefully, I'm <laughs> pre producing creamsicles, right? But these guys are albinos. And it's interesting because they actually look a little different. Their eyes are different than my other albinos. So I wonder if they come from a different line of albinism. Um, those freaking nails are so long. Look at those things. These things are probably more ready than my nails are. I don't know if that have, the, tail, the nails have anything to do with it. Koika, he's got a nip tail as well. These are both 100% het for creamsicle. So they both carry the charcoal and the caramel gene. So they're 100% het for creamsicle. These males, these males here are going to be used to prove out which ones of the female turtles in here, the normal green turtles, they're going to be used to prove out which ones of them are actually het for creamsicle. Um, that's what I'm going to use these males for. Man, their nails are so long. Um, that's what these males are going to be used for. Um... So I'll probably only use them for realistically maybe one or two seasons because the charcoal males that I have in here, they're a possibility that they carry the, the uh, caramel gene. Um, we just don't know, we won't know. So what I'm gonna do is use the snow red-eared slider. This is such mumbo jumbo. A lot of you guys aren't even gonna care about or understand, but we're gonna use the snow red-eared slider that's in here, Ava, Avalanche. We're gonna use her to prove out the charcoal males and then we're gonna use these albino males to prove out the females. So pretty much this coming season, we should produce creamsicles, theoretically. Um, we should produce creamsicles. Um, but the following season is when we should really kick up production and get a lot of creamsicles. And the creamsicles are just a really cool looking turtle. Um, I don't even have any pictures to share with you, but it's kind of the up and one of the one of the many up and coming ready cider morphs. So that's what this pond is dedicated to. Um, now a 4.8, four males, eight females. Um, and that's what this pond is dedicated to. Um, wow, well, I thought I almost didn't press play there for a second. And then this pond is obviously a 2.5 of albino rated sliders. And the pumps aren't on right now because I didn't turn them on today. Because it's a little bit chillier and yeah. So the pump's not on in here today, but turtles are all in there. It's starting to get cold, so they're slowing down significantly. Not to worry there. Um, but yeah, guys, that's, that, that's it. We've got the tortoises doing great. Um, I'll take you back over and show you the chicks there in a second. Tortoises are doing great, um, living their best lives. I pulled up my cameras earlier and I was able to see this guy, the male. He was mounting one of the tortoises. Lately he's been mounting the other male. I don't know, I'm not gonna complain. I think he's doing something right. Um, but I saw that he was trying to mount someone. He's been mounting this female a lot, but also the male, like I just said. Um, but the tortoises are loving life. They're loving these warm days that we're still getting here in Arizona. It's like 80s today, maybe even lower 90s. Kind of crazy, but tortoises are loving it. Um, sad news. <sighs> One of my chickens, the white chicken that was looking so beautiful, got killed today. My neighbor's dog has got in my backyard again and it's kind of a huge bummer so not super stoked about that but he's ordered some electric fencing to help keep his dogs from digging under and i'm gonna go ahead and fire up the good old skid steer here and pile a bunch of dirt up along that fence line over there i've got a couple tons of dirt back there um try and keep them out because they really want to kill the chicken so now i'm stuck with one adult chicken but thankfully we ordered these guys we are going to raise them up and hopefully have a uh, whole new herd of chickens coming up in the spring. So I guess it was kind of I guess good timing that I ordered so many of these guys, but I'm very, very excited about it. But if you guys have enjoyed this, um, I'm loving my office, by the way, or reptile room, whatever you want to call it. If you guys have enjoyed this, um, enjoyed this adventure, look at all those cute little baby turtles in there. Definitely click the like button below. Help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Click subscribe. It goes a long ways, guys. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. 
currently at like 827 or so. So if you guys can help me out with that, I would greatly appreciate it. And you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out.